Hello everyone, welcome to this video on a nuclear physics experiment. In this experiment, we are studying about the mass absorption coefficient of copper for gamma rays. The aim of the experiment is to determine the absorption coefficient of gamma rays using the GM counter. Now let's see the apparatus required for this experiment. The first thing is GM counter, then copper sheet of same thickness and a gamma ray source. Let's see what is the purpose of doing this experiment. So as we are finding the mass absorption coefficient of the copper for the gamma rays, now like we are going to find out the mass absorption coefficient using the equation n equal to n0 e power minus uh, mu rho t. Here n is transmitted gamma rays n0 is the initial count of the gamma rays and here nu is the mass absorption coefficient and t is the thickness. By applying lan on the both sides, lan n equal to lan n0 e power minus mu rho t. So if we rearrange the equation, we will get lan n is equal to lan n0 plus lan e power minus mu rho t if the lan and e the uh, like they both will get cancer and we will say get lan n is equals to lan n naught minus mu rho t so how to find the mass absorption coefficient using this so as we are collecting the data uh, we have to use like we have to compare this equation with y is equals to mx plus c or c plus mx if we see the u part this mu part and this f yeah, they both are same we are going to plot the graph Let us see how can we do this experiment. Now, the GM counter is shown and explained. The GM counter consists of a GM counter system and a GM tube. The counter is connected connected to an AC power supply. The GM tube is connected to the GM counting system using a coaxial cable. Before turning on the AC supply, we must ensure that the GM counter is off and that its voltage knob is in the minimum position. After that, then there are few precautions one must take. This includes not touching the metallic part of the GM tube from the start to the end of the experiment. There should not be any radiation source nearby the GM tube. The GM counting system should be switched on and then the preset time and high voltage must be set before the experiment. Once that is done, let's carry out the following procedure and fill up the observation table and do the calculation. Make a standard setup by connecting GM counting system with GM detector. Without keeping any source, the background counts are measured and average of the background count is computed. Place a gamma source in the holder and set the high voltage around 500 volts. Program preset time to 120 seconds and start record the data by pressing the start button. Keep copper sheets of thickness of 0.5 mm the thickness of the copper sheet is measured using the screw gauge between the gamma source and the GM tube record the data. Increase the thickness of the copper sheets for each trial and record the data. Tabulate the counts, the correct co corrected counts which means the obtained counts minus the background count and rho t, rho here is the density of the copper, t is the thickness and the lan of n. n is nothing but the corrected counts. 
Then we have to plot a graph between lan n versus rho t to obtain a straight line whose slope will give minus mu that is mass absorption coefficient of copper. As we saw the procedure part, let's see uh, how to do, how to take the readings after once everything is set up. We have to like measure the thickness of the given copper sheet or uh, uh, using the screw guards after uh, like measuring the thickness we have to take the as we mentioned earlier we have to take the copper sheets with a uniform thickness so we are going to first take the read, first reading uh, without like the copper sheet so we are going to take the count here the corrected counts means uh, the uh, count the count which we get minus the background counts Next, the corrected count is n. So we are going to take lan as we are going to plot lan n in y axis. And rho is the density of the copper and t is the thickness. So we are going to multiply and we will get rho t. So we are going to fill the tabular column. Once we fill the tabular column, next thing is we are going to plot the graph. We will see how the model graphs look like. The model graph look like this. So we are going to plot the graph between lan n and rho t. So lan n we are going to take in y axis and the rho t we are going to take along the x axis. So the model graph looks like this. If we consider this, see this is our y intercept that we can like connect with lan n naught. So this is lan n naught. And as we see, mu like minus mu. So if you see like clearly, the we will get the negative slope here. So if we take the slope, we will get mu. As the slope is negative, as the line is along the negative side, we can take it as minus u, minus mu. So so we will get the slope minus mu using that like the mu is nothing but our mass uh, absorption coefficient of the given copper so we can use this uh, to find the mass absorption coefficient as we already seen how the empty tabular column looks like so this like take a look at how the filled column looks like so the first column is serial number after that it's the thickness of the copper sheet then the counts for this we took two trials after that we took the mean counts after that the background counts this background counts we can take in the initial and we can take the mean of the background count or we can take the background count for each like before each trial then the corrected counts which means mean count uh, subtracted by sorry the mean count minus the background count then uh, the co corrected count is n so we are taking lan for that lan n and rho into t so the density of the copper is 8.96 gram per centimeter square so we are taking that and we are multiplying that with the thickness as we already saw before this is the graph of lan n versus rho t we have taken lan n along y axis and rho t along x axis and this is the slope and the value of the uh, mass absorption coefficient of copper we got is minus 0 0.815 centimeter square per gram